Realistic games are cool and all, but how fun do you think I can make a game using just basic shapes? By the end of this video, you're going to see how I made a simple shooter game actually fun and satisfying to play. And by the way, I'm only going to have 3 days to make this. So for a game all about shapes, I need to make some shapes. In this game I'm making, it's going to be like a cowboy dueling type of thing, where at the end of a countdown, you have to kill your enemy before they kill you. So yeah, the first enemy shape man is done. This one's going to be called Triangle Head, and that's going to be the first and the easiest opponent you reverse. But I don't want him to just stand there T-posing all game, so I have to give him some bones. And there we go, now we can animate him to fight the player later on. Then I made a couple quick animations, an idle and an attack where he puts his hand up to duel the player. So now this is done, but there's no game. So I imported the shape man to Unity, then I started to work on the environment to make it actually look western. For this, I made a bank and a general store. But for the general store, it's just a bank, but stretched out. Yeah, I got kind of lazy. With these in Unity, I wanted to make the background look better, so I tried adding these cubes, but it just looked terrible. I needed something else, so I made some mountains using terrain. Now you're probably thinking, These mountains aren't basic shapes. But actually they are, because every little shape is made up of a bunch of other shapes, and those shapes are made up of more shapes, and the shapes are now basic shapes. Yeah, it just looks a lot better than those cubes I tried. One more thing to add to make the environment look more juicy is some post-processing. I threw on a ton of effects and now the game actually looks pretty good. But all the player can do right now is admire the environment. There's nothing you can do. You can't fight Triangle Head yet. I quickly made a blocky gun model in Blender and um, gave it some bones. Then I made the gun sway when you look around so it's not completely still. Then I added some functionality so at the end of a countdown the player raises their gun and starts shooting at the enemy. But the enemy currently forgets to take their gun when they raise their arm, but it was an easy fix and now it works as expected. Then I added a groundbreaking feature which is the ability to shoot your gun and I made an animation for shooting as well. Originally, the gun shot actual bullets, but I just changed it to fire a recast because the bullets weren't going to the center of the screen. If you know how to fix this, leave a comment down below. But now only the player can shoot, the enemy can only stand there watching you as you kill him. That's not very fun gameplay, so I made the enemy able to shoot back at the player and try to kill them as well. I also added some randomness to the enemy shooting because previously the enemy would hit every shot and that's just unrealistic and not fun. So now you can fully fight the first enemy, and I added a little death particle effect when you kill him. I realize the game is very easy right now, so I watched the tutorial to implement the most important feature of the entire game, recoil. This game feels much better to play now with recoil, since it makes it harder and more random. Then I made an intermission scene where the player will be able to see who they're versing next and their difficulty. I also made the title menu and called the game Geometric Duel because you have to fight a bunch of geometric shapes. I spent way too much time making a little animation for the how to play menu, but I think it looks pretty good. I made a quick muzzle flash and I think it adds a lot, especially to the enemy. For some reason I forgot all about the fact that I need more enemies, there can't just be one dude you fight. So I hopped into Blender to make another shape guy. And pretty quickly, the game now has two enemies to fight, and the difficulty increases after every enemy. But two isn't enough, I need more, so I made another shape guy, and now there are three enemies. But three isn't enough, I need more, so I made another shape guy, and now there are four enemies. But four isn't enough, I need more. Alright, all enemies are done. I think five is enough. The game is almost done, but I thought of one more cool thing to add. Cheats. If the player can beat the last enemy, they will unlock cheats. There are two cheats. Rapid Fire Pistol and Infinite Health. If you are able to actually beat the last guy and unlock the cheats, I'd be impressed. If it's even possible, let me know in the comments if you beat it. If you're interested in me being your video editor, I could edit your videos just like mine. Check out my Fiverr in the description. If you made it this far, my grandma did the math. There's a 114.8% chance that you'll like one of the videos that is on screen now, so click on one of them.